Hello and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa and I live in Michigan with my husband and my two girls. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry at 72 Stitches. And this is episode 59. Got my coffee, caramel latte creamer. And this is, I already said this is episode 59, didn't I? <laughs> Today is Sunday, uh, April 26th, 2020. This is a podcast about knitting, sometimes crochet, whatever crafty things I'm up to. Um, let's see. If you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. You can find all the show notes right down there in the description box. I'll have links to my Instagram, my Ravelry group, patterns, yarns, bags, all that good stuff. I think that's all my spiel. <laughs> all right, I have hose, whips, finished objects, vintage whips. Yeah. So let me get a sip of coffee and I'll get started. Finished object number one. Tube socks. These are for my oldest. Um, this is Knit Picks Felici Endless Summer. The toes Toes and cuffs are in Nitpick Stroll Dove Heather. Um, I did 64 stitches. No heels. That's why they're called tube socks. Um, 64 stitches, 12 rows of 2x2 two two rib. And then I knit 105 rows and do my toe. And that's pretty much it. I feel like for my oldest, I'm going to have to make them a little longer. And I really need to take a picture of her wearing these. Because a lot of people have asked how they fit. I keep forgetting. Finish object number two. More tube socks. So this is the same same pattern. Oh, I forgot to say it with needle. Um, I use Chagu Red Lace. 2.5 millimeters. That is a US 1.5. This is Knit Picks Felici Spaceman. This is an old colorway. I think I bought this in 2017. And uh, this one is all stripey. And these are for my youngest. So they have another pair of socks. Alright, and my last finished objects. Dishcloths. Ugly brown dishcloths. <laughs> I think um, this is it's either sugar and cream or peaches and cream. It's black. Whoa, and it's blowing out my face. I'm gonna hold it back a little bit. There we go, it's a little better. Um, this is grandma's dish dishcloth pattern. Favorite dishcloth. I'll link it below. Um, I do the no holes version and I use a US six. So there's one. And oh, this, this one kind of made me mad. Look how much I almost had enough. So close. But I wasn't going to rip it all up. So it has a little black part on the top. <laughs> and this is Lion Brand Cotton. I don't know what the colorway is. It starts with the C. I don't know if it's clove. I don't remember. Anyway. So there's two, three, four, and five. So I almost got four dishcloths out of that one ball. That was a very big ball of yarn. And I'm, I'm over this brown color, so now I'm moving on to other colors. So those are for my mom. I might steal one of the brown ones, because I know she's... That was a color she's like, why do I have that? I don't, that's not even a color I like. So she probably was gifted that color by somebody. 
so I don't think she'll mind if I steal one. All right, that is all of my finished objects. All right, let's get on to whips. Okay, is it this one? I always forget. Nope, it's not that one. This one first. This is Stitching Plaza. Bag. Harry Potter. And I don't think I had... No, I didn't have these cast on last time. This is Nitpicks Felici in the Rugby Player. Yep. Rugby Player colorway. I bought this in fall 2019. I, I am weird and I write down the year that I bought it so then I know how long it's been in my stash. You don't have to do that, but. And a hoe. Oh, I love this color. I really wish it was mine. That's okay. I can't have all of the fleecy socks. Um. So the same pattern that I previously said, all of these markers are counting my rows. Uh, 10, 10 rows per marker. Uh, 12 rows of two by two rib, 105 stitches, and then do my toe. And I use uh, same needle, red, um, red lace chuggoose 2.5 millimeter needle. I really love those. And I have, oop, pulled myself. And I have the second one cast on. Got a cuff and one row done. I use um, 32 inch cords. Uh, yeah, I already said the needles. 64 stitches, did I say that? <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping to have these. I'll have these done next time. Not a problem. I have a knot in my yarn. There we go. I was kind of I'll show you the cake even though you see all the colors. The sock that I had, this one, uh, the ball, I wind these up so I know if there's a knot in it because I do not like surprises. So when I was winding this, this skein up, because I used two skeins, um, there was a knot in it, like right in the middle. I'm like, duh. I'm like, oh no, now the stripes aren't going to, they're going to be off. The knot was like in this color. So it wasn't like when they knotted it, they knotted the same color together. So I was unsure about if the stripes were going to match or go backwards. But anyway, um, so I'm like, well, I'll just take one of the balls and I'll knit and see where it gives me. Well, I ended up knitting. I think I had like two, I had two or three rows left on my decrease and I ran out of yarn. I'm like, no. So I almost made it with that one ball that I started. So I had to use like a little bit of the other one. Not a big deal. And I don't like that, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind if it was like two or three rows of that color, I'm fine with that. But when it's just the Kitchener stitch, which pretty much that's what it is, kind of bugs me a little, but that's okay. My daughter says she didn't care. So yeah. So I say all of your yarn, commercial or hand dyed, wind the cakes up. That way you do not have a surprise knot. That is my advice. <laughs> yes, it takes more time. But for me, it is worth it. For you, it might not be. If you don't care about surprise knots, then you do whatever you want. <laughs> all right, let's get another sip of coffee. This is another Stitching Plaza bag. Hamilton. One of my favorites. And I have another hoe. Bam! This one did the same exact thing. <laughs> it's okay. So let's get the tag out. This is another older one. Nitpicks Felici, Material Girl. 
material girl yep and I bought this fall 2018 kind of oldish uh, yeah same thing same needle these are cotton rows same stitches same rows of rib and these are going to be for my youngest and I have yep I have the second sock cast it on and I did one row same needles chow goose 32 inch cord 2.5 millimeter needles and we'll do the mustache just because I haven't done it in this episode <laughs> oh my so yeah those are my sock whips I have not touched my my scrappy socks I think I showed them last week I just had a cuff done I did not touch those this week I'm hoping that once I finish these socks um, I will yeah start those or start working on those since um, my nomadic yarns oh, my foot my foot's all asleep see I got pajama pants on Shh. <laughs> I need to stretch okay um, actually I can show that since I wound it up so nomadic yarns is doing a knit knit a pair of socks out of her yarn and read a Harry Potter book so this is what I plan to cast on next and this is Honey Dukes this is her 75-25 base I don't know if I'll have these cast on is the first on Friday I might have these cast on but look at this this is not my colors whatsoever but I love this this is gonna be so fun to knit and with socks I don't care I can wear bright colored socks but like hats shirts pants no I gotta stay neutral but, oh. so I'm gonna be casting these on soon I love this color it's beautiful so that's you might see those next time next time all right so that is all of my sock whips now we're gonna get on to my vintage whip let me get a sip of coffee here so this is the bag that my mom made me many many years ago and she probably will never make another bag for me again because she hates putting zippers in which I understand I cannot put a zipper in to save my life or so very well for that matter so all right I cast this on I think summer 2018 somewhere in 2018 and I really need to finish this it's not that I don't like working on it it's it's very mindless it's very relaxing to work on. I just, I don't know. I've been working on my blankets. I don't know. I don't have an excuse. I just haven't been working on it. So since I, I mentioned in my last episode, I have this app called this tiny decisions and it's a little wheel where you can put all your whips in and spin it and it'll pick a whip for you to work on. And so that's what I've been doing in the evenings is spinning the wheel and work on whatever the thing says. So I do not have socks in that wheel because I usually work on socks during the day. And in the evenings I like to work on my blankets. What else do I have on there? I got my granny stripe blanket. This whip that I'm going to show you. Dishcloths. And my donation cowls that I need to get back at. I will probably show that next time. I have been working on it a couple nights here and there this week all right so I'm not sure how I'm gonna show this so I did a professional cast on 100 stitches what needle am I using I'm using chow goose 16 inch uh, circumference and this is a 2.5 um, US 2.5 three millimeters so yeah, professional cast on, and I'm using all of my Nomadic yarn scraps. Oh, 
Some are Harry Potter, some are not. I am not going to go through all of them because it will take me 10 years. <laughs> Maybe not 10 years, but look at this. I got some Christmas colors in there. And here we are. The one I'm working on is, at, is um, what is it? Star Wars. Oh my. So yeah, I'm pretty much just knitting a big tube and then I'm going to kitchen the ends together. Now, I was having problems with provisional cast on and I'm like, oh great. I did a provisional cast on with this. This was like two years ago. I think I did it right. They don't look twisted, so I think I'm okay. So, yep, essentially I'm going to take the two ends kitchen it to them together. I don't, it's probably long enough, but my plan was to stand up, put it around my neck, and if the ends are like almost touching the floor, that's when I'm going to stop. Now I have, here, let's see if I can grab all these at once. Oh, look at this. This is what I have left. So I'm not sure if this is too much. Um, I mean, I already have these in my, um, my cozy memories blanket. So I might just, if I don't use them, I might just uh, use them for swaps with other people. So that's what I have left. So I don't know. I don't remember how far it was. I'm not going to stand up now because then you'll really see my pajama pants. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to make a big cowl and I'll probably be able to wrap it around my head like at least at least once maybe three times if I want to have it like really bunched up oh I love this so my goal is to finish this and I'm hoping that I'll be almost done with the dishcloths like maybe by next month and then I will take that off my whip wheel so then I'll only have three, three uh, items on there, and then maybe this will come up more often. I worked on this last night. Oh, yes. I love this. And I have, I've saved all of, a little bit of the Harry Potter yarns, and I want to make another one with just all of the Harry Potter colorways. But I don't know when that's going to happen. I probably should wait and knit more of my Harry Potter yarns before I start another one. And I also want to make one with all of my mustache yarn Star Wars colors. So I see more of these in my future. It's not that I don't like working on it. It's just I have too many whips. I think that's what it is. And I have blankets. I have two blankets. Oh my. All right, now my other foot is falling asleep. What is going on here? I usually don't have a problem with my feet falling asleep. Oh, the tingly. All right, I have one more whip. And then that's it. All right. This is my granny stripe blanket, which is a crochet project. And this is a Clover D 3.25 millimeter needle, needle, hook. So yeah, this is what I got. I chained 362 stitches. This thing is massive. But I love it. I'm just going to take a minute to unfold it here. Oh, I found my stitch marker, so that's... We're moving in the right direction. My hair on it, of course. Oh, there he is. So that's how much I got done. From the stitch marker up. Not a lot, but... I don't know, did I show... I think this is like two weeks worth. Like I said, I only work on it when, when I spin my wheel. Excuse me. Um, yeah, Granny Stripe Blanket by Attic24. I'm using a Magic Knot Ball. 
where did it go? Here it is. Of all of my Knit Picks Felici scraps. And there's four more right there ready for me. I took all my blankets off. I'm working on my cozy memories today, so that's not up there. And I'm like, oh, my shelf back here is so empty. I need to put something up there so you guys have something nice to look at. <laughs> so, yeah, those are what I have. And I also have more that's not wound up right underneath that shelf. So I have enough. I probably have enough to do another one. I'm not sure when I'm going to stop. So there's the end, and then if I can slowly, slowly, peekaboo. So yeah, I mean, if I put it on my feet, if I put it on my feet, yeah, I still, I would say I'm probably halfway there. Yeah. Let's move my marker now that I'm thinking about it. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did ten rows. That's pretty good. All right, let's move my marker so that don't forget. All right, so yeah, that is all of my whips. I think that's all I needed to talk about. Did I say nitpicks, fleshy scraps? I think I did. Sorry, I'm at a weird, a weird angle. My feet, oh, my feet are falling asleep. All right, life stuff. Life stuff. There's not, there's not a lot of life stuff. The uh, Michigan governor extended the stay-at-home order until May fifteenth. I kind of figured that she was going to do that. I kind of figure, I think she's going to do it for the whole month of May. That's my prediction. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we're staying at home. What else did she change? Oh, you can go golfing now. I don't golf, so that doesn't pertain to me. But you can't use a golf cart. What else? Oh, you can go on a boat. You can use your boats. I don't have a boat, so that doesn't pertain to me. <laughs> And, um, oh, they opened, she opened up the guard, gardening section of all the stores. Um, so I am not a big gardener either. So, but, uh, my kids like to uh, grow green beans. That seems to be like the only vegetable that we all like to eat. So I stick to just that. And I might plant some flowers, but I just do them in pots because my husband will mow them over with the lawnmower. So I'm like, okay, well, if it's in a pot, you physically have to move it or mow around it and you won't injure it. <laughs> so that's what I do. And also sometimes, you know, it feels like it's getting warmer and then we have like a frost freeze advisory and then this way I can take them inside the garage very easily instead of trying to cover them up and stuff. So that's a, another reason why I do that. So I probably probably need to start those sometime soon. I think my husband's gonna go to the store today and see if there's something he wants to look for that he doesn't want me to pick out for him. So if I, I think it's vitamins. He wants to look at vitamins. <laughs> um... Oh, grocery stores. It's now mandatory to wear a mask. So I'm glad that I started like three weeks ago-ish wearing a mask. So now I'm like, okay, I got those. Uh, yeah, last time I went, I got groceries. I changed my grocery day to Thursdays. Not that you guys care, but... Um, Everybody was wearing, all, I mean, not everybody, all of the employees were wearing masks. That's the new change that I noticed last time I went. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it with life stuff. I'm not just, hang, we're just hanging out, going for walks when it's nice out. It's sunny right now. I think the high is 60 today, so yay. A 
forgot to say last week we got a bunch of snow. I didn't want to talk about it, obviously. <laughs> so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's done snowing. Still reading. Still reading Percy Jackson with my daughter, the first one. Um, I'm going to be starting Harry Potter book three pretty soon. Um, what else? I have been reading a Bobaverse series. I don't remember what's by. And I know that's not the titles of any of the books. The first one is called We Are Legions, I think. It's a three. It's a trilogy. My husband read it and recommended it to me. I really like the audiobooks. I'm listening to it. That's pretty nice. I'm on the last book. I think I finished the second book this week. And then I also read Untamed. Don't remember who that's by either. I'm not good with authors. That was pretty good. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, a uh, blanket cow. I keep forgetting to mention this. I have a, a scrappy blanket cow in my Ravel Ravel re group. <laughs> um. Yeah, just there's a link to it my group right down there just click on it you have to be a member of my group and just make a blanket you don't have to finish it um, it doesn't have to be scrappy if you want yarn to make a baby blanket that's fine it could be a baby blanket a lap blanket a full-size blanket you don't even have to finish it you just have to work on it show us your project projects your progress on your projects <laughs> And it ends December 31st. I extended it because I didn't want to go to the post office to send out prizes. So if you want to join that, go for it. <laughs> All right, I need to end this. I'm just rambling now. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put them right down there. I read them. And hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.